All right, cool. So if you guys are watching over on YouTube, um, this is gonna be kind of like our closer look at what was announced, checking out all the specifics and things like that. So it's a little bit, a bit freeform. I think I wanna do these freeform from now on. Um, I will say if you're looking for more of a specific, uh, kind of like what we're looking for here, um, a concise version of these sort of things. I know both Gemma and Kerapi usually do a video for these. That's very, very straight to the forward, very straight to the point. So you guys should definitely check them out. Um, but we we do things a little bit differently here. We like we enjoy freeform. We enjoy a bit more in depth. And we're gonna have, I'm gonna do this on live. I want to do this one with uh, with chat over on Twitch. So I think it'll be a lot of fun. I think it'll be a good time. So anyway, let's uh, let's jump into this. So we're gonna reset this really quick. I apologize for the audio. It's gonna be a little scuffed because I'm looking at this on my other monitor and it's uh, kind of a pain in the neck to get to. So I'll keep an eye on Twitch chat to the best of my ability. Um, and we'll try to catch whatever we missed, but let's take a look at the first portion of this. So the first thing we got, we're not gonna watch all of this. I'm actually gonna turn off the audio for this. So first portion we got is we have the chapter two side story, which is really cool. Um, Song of Renewal. They just talk, basically you have to make sure that you do all the story stuff for uh, for chapter two or else you won't be able to actually play this content. Um, let's see, we skip ahead a little bit. It looks like there's gonna be two songs, the so Song of Morning and the uh, the battle song or whatever. I'm assuming this is probably gonna be an encore. If you're new to concerts in PSO2, they do encores. This is a really, really nice touch. They're actually gonna be showing the uh, concert in the city over on um, in Central City, which is super, super dope. I actually really, really excited about that. Also, uh, uh, Butter Sergeant, thanks for following the channel. Anyway, um, so they're gonna be showing this off in Central City, which is dope because I was actually concerned about that. Like if you would be stuck having to get to Redham to be able to see the concert, because I'm sure it was gonna you know, provide buffs. It's cool that they're gonna be providing this to everyone. So very, very nice choice. And the concert, as I figured, has a buff. I, I, honestly, this was, I felt like this was just par for the course. Looks like the 10% try boost. And try boost basically affects three different buffs. It's experience, Masetta, and rare drop rate. They chose to, you know, say it separately here, but it's basically try boost. Three, try, you know, makes sense. Um, and it's 10% buff. It goes on for two hours. That's really good. Two hours of farming? Hell yeah, dude. All right. So after that, we have level 40 zone. Or I'm sorry, level 40. They're increasing the level cap to 40. With level cap increases, we're also getting a rank three zone. Let's see if we can see anything specific here. Uh, we'll just let this play actually. Oh, hang on. I did see a few things. Let's go back really quick. So increased rate of tri chaos trials. They talk about chaos trials. Chaos trials essentially are two trials happening at the same time. Could be two boss trials. Could be like a defense and a boss trial. All that stuff mixed together. So double trials happening at the same time. New enemy type, Megalotix. So not Gigantix, but Megalotix. It looks like they're specific to battle zones. This is kind of cool. Doesn't look like they're related to the weather whatsoever, but just the high rank zones. They do quite a bit of damage, but we can't see how much damage because they have the damage numbers off. From what we can see, we see a little chunk of experience. Uh, what level is our player here? They don't show us the player's level, so we can't see that. And it drops a ton of end Masetta. It's 116. That's, that's not a lot. That's still not very much. Oh, yeah, 116. Okay, so we can see the buffs here. Arms Refiner. Uh, looks like a C Megas Fusia and a str uh, Strugment A. Interesting. I don't know what these actually refer to. Okay. So you need the Strugments to create, what was it, an Arms Refiner? So you need these strugments to create arms refiners. I believe you need these arm ref refiners as upgrade parts. Hang on. Let's go back. So this is them making it, right? Here we go. Okay. So it's, you, how many of these do you need? You need one arms refiner to be able to increase it from a plus 40 to a plus 50. Okay. We're going back really quick. And then it's just end grinders. Oh, wow. Nice crack voice. Looks like it's just end grinders afterwards. That's not too bad. Uh, looks like we have the rank two. Yeah, rank two battle Diaz. Level 44. Oh, ooh, okay. I, the funny thing is I like Bujan. I just haven't fought him in a very, very long time. So 
Okay, get a color variant. Apparently this drops from the rank two battle Diaz, which is super, super sick. So it's a color variant of the the fairy dash. I guess the color variant is like purple. Is that what's supposed to be like a purple color? Yeah, okay. Uh, we also have the urgent quest going to be ranked two. Orcs level 40, Pettis is level 40. So uh, stuff we'll be able to do at level 35 for good experience too. I guess 36, you want to be within five levels. So yeah, not too bad there. Um, being able to get that drop or getting the new uh, dash as a drop is actually huge. It's an, I think the first free to play av available dash. So that's super awesome. Mm, can we see anything specific about the new mission pass? Hang on. Let's see what we can catch. They go to page two so fast, dude. Like, why'd they go to page two so quickly? All right, so we can see... Okay, this is um, one of the outfits we had for the SG Scratch earlier on. It's not too bad. It's a weird-looking horn. Uh, looks like it's mostly the same stuff. I don't know what this is supposed to be back here. Hang on, let's see if they, they mouse over it. I forgot to frame back. Uh, let's say stamp, I guess? SOS? Yeah. I want to see if I can catch the first part of the mission pass. No, they change it before you can even see it. Uh, nothing too crazy here. Yo, this mag, though. Oh, here it goes. This is the first part of the mission pass right here. Uh, nothing too crazy here. Looks like it's about the same stuff, but yo, that mag is sick looking. It reminds me of... Um, I said this during the last video we were looking over it. It reminds me of uh, Shaman King. Okay, yep, nothing too crazy here. Uh, this is just talking about our um, the new added feature of being able to use the mag jukebox. And then our arcs cards, which is pretty cool. Yep, and you can see your arcs number, ID card. Okay, hang on. This is something worth looking at. Let's see. Yep, that's fine. Okay, so it looks like it's going to cost either 12 SG scratch items or 8 AC scratch items. That's... Pretty expensive, honestly. For 60 minutes, 25% of our DR. That's not sustainable. That's definitely not sustainable. So it's like you're going to use those in very, very rare circumstances. That's too expensive. Realistically, that should be X cubes. They should make it so you can farm more X cubes, and that should be X cubes. That's, that's, just, that's way too expensive. You can only buy three of them a week, too, it looks like. So. Oh, you know what that just did? Oh, shit. I'm not saying in this video. I'm not going to say in this video because people are going to complain that I'm going to... I'm not even going to say what I was about to say. No, what? never mind. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Anyway, so we have... It looks like party boost. Party try boost. You know what? Screw it. I'm saying it anyway. Um, the average price of cheap AC items is about to go up. Yeah, I said it. So if you're watching the stream... Have at it. Anyway, <laughs> try boost is 10%. It looks like, is that four people 10%? It looks like that was four people 10%. Let's see. No, that's one person. So can we assume that four people is going to be 20%, I guess? 5% per person? And you can accept, yeah, this is this doesn't matter very much. Okay, this I'm actually interested in. This looks really good. Damn, okay. And this is the AC scratch. I mean, I, I care less about this. this is fashion. You guys can look at this on your own time. Um, not bad. It's whatever, kind of whatever here. Some it's got some cool stuff here and there, you know. But that's not what we're here to break down. Um, we already talked about each of these. So we're able to limit break our items up to plus 50. So that's pretty crazy. Max is 10. It showed only four people. It only showed two people. So four people is 10%. That's what Hedo said. All right. Got it. Got it. This is why we check chat. This is why we check chat. Thank you, chat, for keeping me honest. 10% is kind of weak, but, you know, it is what it is. All right. Let's move on to the next set of video. All right, so the February update. This is going to be the 16th. That's where this starts. 
So SG Scratch stuff, Diva of the Desert. Oh, I, I mean, it's just, again, it's fashion. Do you guys really need to see this stuff? Like, is it really that important? I mean, like, the only thing I care about as far as stickers is a waifu sticker and a waifu sticker. Now this, this is dope. This right here, we're getting this. We're getting these. These are, these are, these are what we're getting right here. We're getting these. Yep, this too. Uh-huh. This too, chat. This too. Yep. And uh, also, I mean, less this. Like, I care about this less. Kind of, kind of weird because you have your hands just like super out. You're not holding the flute. But like, I guess you're just like some crazy. What was I looking for? Also this. <laughs> also this. I feel like this might be my new idol animation. Just it's just, it's just me checking Twitch chat. I'm just checking Twitch chat. That's all it is. I'm just reading Twitch. Just this is Twitch chat. Just going. I'm just reading Twitch chat. It's fine. And then advanced for laboratory ruins. Same things as been mentioned beforehand. Chaos trials, megalotics, all that good stuff. And then we have the new urgent. So the new urgent, mixed feelings. Mixed feelings. New boss, super dope. Um, they did basically exactly what I thought they would do, which is probably the best case scenario. Um, which we'll see in just a little bit. Get your gear in, check, and rally the power of fellow arcs. I mean, this is probably going to have a pretty sizable battle power requirement. And as some people are saying the uh, this falls looks a lot like dolls. Um, I, I guarantee you it's just the evolution of dolls. Like that's or, if, or that's just the evolution of falls. The dolls are just they're part of their fall spawn. They're just evolved fall spawn. That's all it is. So the new weapon series. The Cinequim. So I know some people are probably like freaking out. Oh my God, they released a new weapon. Ha ha ha. This is why I didn't farm my relic. You're dumb for buying. Shut up. Just, just shut up. 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 Do this every time. Do this every time. It's a side grade relic. Not more powerful than relic. It has more potency, but the potential works differently. Blah, 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 blah. It's, 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 it's basically another relic. They mentioned it's going to be easier to get a hold of these. However, it's going to be harder to upgrade them. So, like, is what it is. We got a relic. It's probably still going to be... It, more than likely, the better relics are probably still going to be the better weapons. However, for, like, solo weapons, these are probably going to be the better choice. So, probably 1% more pot. I'd probably... My guess, like, because current relic is 27% at its best, which is the tech relics. I'd imagine this probably is gonna be like 28, 30, maybe. Ah, uh, no, no. I'd probably see it being like 28%. Maybe it's not even that much more, man. Realistically, we'll see. I mean, at the end of the day, it's not substantially much more powerful than relics, and relics are still gonna be very rare, meaning they're gonna be more expensive. Meaning that your uh, your investment's still there. So if you want to keep your relic, it's fine. Not a big deal. I'd say probably 28. My guess is 28 at best. But another weapon series. So people that are a bit more casual trying to get a hold of a weapon, you can kind of farm. So the funny thing is, this is actually when you think about it, this is kind of what we were asking for, right? Because it's not it's kind of a um, it's a, an in between between like the two ideas. So it is. Easier to get a hold of, but you have to farm a bit more to upgrade them since you need uh, you need um, photon scales. So you might want to start farming photon scales now if this is going to be the weapon you're going to go after. I'm probably going to get some photon scales myself. Even if I don't use this weapon, I'll buy it, upgrade one, and then sell it for a lot because some people will not have photon scales prepared because they wouldn't have been playing. They'll come back to the game and want to get hold of this weapon and won't be able to upgrade it properly. So there you go. Um, so there, I've just ruined your market again. You're welcome. Um, so let's well, see how these work out. They are very cool looking weapons, though. They're super cool looking. The effects are super dope too. The, the purple flames. All right, hang on. We need to go through this slower. Okay, so they're augmenting the weapon. Okay. Dreadkeeper three. Gigas Might 3, Daddle Soul 2, and Might 3. Okay. Did I do anything special? New Virtuoso unit will have stronger effects depending upon the number of augments affixed to your gear. That's how its potential is going to work. Its potential 
is going to be based on the number of augments you have equipped to your gear. It's probably just going to be the weapon. Interesting. Okay. That means that getting this thing to plus 50 is going to be very important. Oh, shit. I, did they think about that? Did they consider plus 50 because it adds an extra augment slot? Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, there is a slight chance, ever so slightly, that these might end up being stronger. Because if they didn't consider that in their actual potential, it might end up being a good bit stronger. So we'll have to see. There's a frame they show it. What frame? They show what? What are we looking for? The potential? Well, yeah, we saw the pot oh the potential like the actual amounts. Hang on, let's let's just slow it down real quick. Playback speed. Mm, okay. Up. Oh. Up. Oh, there's a frame. There's a frame. Okay, so the potential is potency plus 18%, increase rest assigned HP recovery, reduce PP consumption by 1%. The number of the different weapons, the number of different weapon and unit augments up to plus 15%. Oh, huh. So it would the pot the potency basically is going to be. <clears throat> so to give you guys an idea, this is its level one form. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, it's only the level one form. The higher the higher level is going to be no, it's not. What's going to happen is the potency is going to increase with higher levels. The portion at the bottom is going to say exactly the same. It's going to be literally exactly the same. So what's going to happen? is it's going to be probably like 27 28 percent more than likely and then as long as you're fully ogged you'll have 15 percent rest assign increase and 15 percent pp reduction consumption i imagine this is going to be probably about 20 i don't know at 18 percent. i feel like yeah 23 is where it's going to cap maybe 24 it's probably a best bet so technically this will not be stronger than relic Unless the potency increases with number of augments, this will not be stronger than the relic. But there was one thing I missed. Hang on. Let's look at the base damage of the sword. Where's the base damage? 333 at a plus 40. Hang on, let's look. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So 333 at a plus 40. Uh, uh, Visiphone. If we look at current relics, Hunter Sword. Wait, I looked at Hunter, not Sword. That's a lot, actually. That's a shit ton. Oh. That's a lot of base damage. That's a lot of base damage. So yeah, these might actually end up being very equal. These might end up being hella equal, dude. With 333 as your base damage at plus 40. Okay. So assuming this potential is only up to like a 24%, likely they'll be roughly equal. Now, if you are... Any of the melee classes, <laughs> basically. You probably want one of these. If you do not want to have to multi-weapon your weapon with a tech weapon. The reason for it is the only potential that's better than Virtuoso is going to be the tech weapon potential. That's the only one that's going to be on par, essentially. Everything else is going to be weaker. I'm glad I didn't farm for any relic. That's, there's no point. It doesn't make any difference. 
Everyone says the exact same fucking thing. I'm glad I didn't farm. It doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. Your relic would still have the same value it would have regardless because relics are still going to be very, very strong. Now, the alternative would be if you had gotten a relic and you had augmented it and you had upgraded it and you were only using what a melee based weapon. So if you were using, let's say, uh, soaring blade, sword, katana, like all, all of those weapons, basically any weapon that's not a tech weapon in that situation, you would be a step behind, but it still wouldn't be that bad off because technically this would have a slightly better potential. But you would still have the same amount of damage, if not more. You want condolences? I know it's hard that you had to spend that much money on a relic. Karma, it must really, really hurt being so weak for so long. It must extremely hurt having to hope and pray that the devs give you the slightest bit of a handout. That way you can possibly be as strong as I was. You know what really must hurt even more? I'm putting this in the video too, because this is my favorite part that I'm still sitting on almost 50 mil, and I don't care. <laughs> That's the best part, because it doesn't matter. Anyway, so yes, if you spend on a relic, unfortunately, if you want to get like the most power you can get, the melee relics are going to be a little bit behind the utility of these relics currently, because the potential or the potency is still 27%. I think the worst case scenario situation is if you are um, if you're a fighter, or a braver and you used any of their relics as like your main relic weapon it um it does have a weaker potential in that situation so that is probably worst case scenario unfortunately 28 mil though i mean <laughs> god but goddamn i mean what else am i gonna spend money on like what else is, what's the other point what am i gonna do get new units oh wait those didn't drop what am i gonna do upgrade my what my gear yeah i'll farm that like what what what, what realistically does it matter What's going to happen? New stuff is going to come out. I'm going to farm for my stuff. I'm going to farm more weapons. I'm going to farm more things. And then I'm just going to get more money. Like, it doesn't matter. It literally doesn't make a difference. Now, if you spend everything on, like, getting a relic katana or, like, yeah, that's, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm extremely sorry. Yeah, I've had my weapon for, like, a month and a half, roughly. Like, What's the difference? What's going to happen? Also, what's up, Karma? I used you as an example because everyone's going to do the same thing, by the way. Everyone's going to have that same thing. Everyone's going to be trashing everyone who has a relic, talk about, oh, I got my weapon easier. This is why I don't fire and blah, blah. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. No one wants to hear you. <laughs> anyway, back to our original topic. <laughs> that is 100% going in the video, by the way. Just as a heads up. Everyone's going to get to hear that one. Um, so... Realistically, what we're gonna end up with is probably a 28% potential, or sorry, 24% potential. With that, that's so much base damage though. Like that's an incredible amount of base damage at 40. That's probably why they're uh, they're equal. I figured they wouldn't be equal, but looking at this base damage, yeah, that that does make sense. Because what 333 versus 324, that's pretty substantial. Though I will say, Greg is basically useless now. <laughs> <laughs> Greg is basically useless now. The benefit to these weapons is going to be getting fixes. Yeah, the fixes are going to be a lot easier to go after. Fixes are going to be a lot easier to go after. 100%, dude. 110%. All right, we can go watch this at regular speed. Let's see what else we got. So the color formats look good. You know, banana format, not bad. What's this? Oh, a new soul. What's this soul do? Uh, Arati Soul 1 gives us 10 PP, or sorry, 10 HP, 4 PP, and 1.25 potency. Wait, how much? Wait, whoa, whoa, what was the what was the percentage on that? How many did you use? Five, forty-five percent, so ninety. So nine percent per capsule. So I'm assuming if this has got a what Arati Soul three. Uh, let's see. So Arati Soul three likely it would be what. My guess would be like 20 HP. That's actually gonna be pretty substantial. It's gonna be a very power, fairly powerful soul. What's the potential compared to Grega for the new weapons? Uh, the potential is 18% potency at level one, and then 1% rest assign, heal increase, and PP cost reduction, increasing based on the number of. Uh, number of augments you have across your weapons and your units at a maximum of 
So at level four, we're assuming that so that potency will probably be about 24%. Um, mixed with the crazy amount of base damage that you're gonna have, it's gonna be insane. Also, I really, really hope that this coat is outerwear. Please let this be outerwear because I want this outerwear without this base wear. The base wear doesn't look bad, don't get me wrong, but I want that as outerwear without the base wear. Hold on, I think it is. I think it actually is, hold on. Yeah, because this is just the base wear with ornament on and ornament off. Oh wait, hold on, How, what does ornament off look like? Hello, can you please go back and show the front chest part of the freaking outfit? Okay, so it gets rid of that. That's actually not bad and it actually makes me like this base wear a lot more too. The female one looks really good too. I, you know, remember, much I, remember ah, you guys remember how I was like, uh, no one cares about AC scratches, whatever, not a big deal. I'm like, yeah, I just, this one I care about. <laughs> this one is great. Look at the hands, dude. Look at these parts. It's wild. Fucking meta bee arms, dude. Also, I like that accessory off or display off turns off the pauldrons. I don't know why, but like something about that just makes it. I love it. Also, the female parts, too. Let's go, dude. Your guns and your fists show up on the outside of your weapons. You're not holding them in your hands because your hands are huge. That's kind of cool. I think this is the new eyes. I like these eyes, actually. These eyes are also cool. I want those. I definitely want these. These are cool. Well, hold on a minute. Those are dope looking. I can definitely make those work. They're more, they're a bit more feminine, but like you can def I can definitely make these work into something. That's cool. I'm not sure if the boots are part of it, but I like these socks too. That's dope looking. That's cool as well too. Uh, that's super, super chill. Oh my God, giant hands, dude. These are some pretty dope uh, 20th anniversary video contest entry. Oh, that's what this is. Wait, can they do that? Can you actually put that's in an AC scratch? Are they paying the person for that? That's kind of a little sus. This is a dope. This is a dope stance. This idle stance is actually pretty cool. This one's not bad either. This is probably the dumbest glad I've ever seen in my entire life, by the way. The clean memes are about to go insane, dude. Okay, Pyrenx Sector for Rezzle Forest. This is more of the same. We already know what this is about. We have um, Chaos Trials, Megalotics. This is going to be our new farming area. Hang on, I'm going to make sure we don't miss anything else. Okay, this is... Okay, this is where she's... Um, what's her face? I remember her name is, but she has updated um, stuff for us. Ronaldine, I think. Yeah, Ronaldine, that's it. She has updated stuff for us. Okay, cool stuff. And then Hero talks about it. We kind of covered all this stuff already. So cast parts that are coming back. These were actually voted on. So uh, that's Etwal. That's Phantom. I don't remember what that is. They really took like the winners of each of these. So like you have, I'm not sure if it's the entire set or if it's just like individual parts to mix and match with things that we have in NGS, but I have to see. Oh, we need to re-listen to part of this. Hang on, actually. Oh. Next, we have a special Revival AC Scratch ticket featuring only PSO2 spec accessories. This lineup includes popular and nostalgic accessories from the past. Okay. The prizes in this Revival Scratch ticket that couldn't be sold in the PSO2 personal shop in the past also cannot be sold in the NGS personal shop. So please keep that in mind. Oh, okay. Are they talking about the prizes from like the um the scratch prizes or whatever? Like whenever you scratch? Okay. Okay. I thought they meant all of the things that were in the scratch. I was like, that's a bit sus, but okay. However, you can still exchange these items in the NGS item recycle. Okay. So don't worry. That's fine. That's all for today's update information. Okay, that's fine. Um, the operational report. These questions were kind of lukewarm, honestly. In December, there was an announcement that it would be difficult to release cast parts more often because of the low ratio of players using them. However, in the six months following the launch of NGS in December and onto December, 
there are only two new cast parts released. I mean, yes, people want more cast parts. People have been complaining about more cast parts consistently. I hear you. They're making more cast parts. TLDR, they're making more cast parts. There'll be more than what they released beforehand, essentially. This is probably the most wasted question in this spot. Please release a revival collection of Avatar items previously released in PSO2 for new players started with NGS. Yes, everyone wants the old items because the first thing they're going to say is that base PSO2 or Oracle is overly inflated and that they cannot afford to get the items that are there. Perfectly honest, it is expensive. It's crazy expensive. That's because those items aren't sold anymore. So that's, caught, that's supply and demand. Um, it's kind of unfair because I'm like, I don't really care because I've already got the items, blah, 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 blah. But like, realistically speaking, it's kind of whatever. Um, it's a situation where they're going to do this anyway. The TLDR was they were going to do this. They're, they're, they're going to do this. They're, they're going to do this. They're doing this. It's very simple. Um, the release of the Relic series weapons was a surprise because there was no announcement ahead of time and they were quite strong. Are there plans to release, release weapons more power, that are more powerful than Relics in the near future? Long and short is no. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> so Relics will remain powerful is what it is. Uh, feels like the class level cap is increasing too soon. Will it continue in this in the future? Um, yes. And the, the, the answer behind this that they provided were that they left it low at first for a long time to give people time to level up everything, to try multiple classes, but they found that people didn't try out more than two or three classes. So people were just stuck at level 20 for a long period of time and felt like they weren't getting any progress. So they changed it. Not too bad. Um, increased instead of drops from enemies. But instead of boost feels less effective in the original amount if the original amount it dropped is small. Um, yes. That is exactly how percentages work. A percentage of a smaller number is still going to be a small percentage, or a percentage of a bigger number is going to be a big percentage. How that works. Okay. No, we're, on, we're on the same page there, right? Dope. Anyway, um, they're basically adding more Masetta to, uh, to certain enemies, which is good. I mean, if you just add more Masetta to everything, you just cause inflation, which doesn't fix the problem. Hey, Colonel, want to ask a question? Go for it. I'll answer it whenever I see it. So this was mindful, and this is smart. And then that's it for the operations report. I think that's all we have. This was just some extra stuff that we have going on. Um, the soundtrack's going to be available for streaming. Uh, oh, sorry. The soundtracks that originally were only available for purchase and download will now be available on streaming platforms, which is super dope. Um, Ultra PSO 2 Day is coming about. I'm... I'm even honestly by the time this like by the time I can get a video out for this the old PSO two days already going to start so I'm not even going to bother. Um, so they're going to be buffing everything pretty substantially, as well as also having buffs on base PSO two or Oracle. So that's pretty cool. Um, and it's in the last three days, so this is going to be all the way till Saturday at four a.m. PST, which is insane. So it starts at seven p.m. EST. So pretty excited for that. Uh, build up battle power campaign. Oh, what is this going to be? Enhancement items as well as the experience. It's going to be starting on the 9th, going all the way to the 8th of the following month. So basically help people get boosted and powered up for the uh, urgent that's going to be coming up. And we're going to fight falls. Um, Dark fall suppression support login bonus. So just a login bonus. It's going to give us an augmentation success rate plus 10%. Kind of wish those were 20. Um, and an enhancement success rate plus 20%. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's see what else. Pre-announced Urgent Quest. Dark Falls inter uh, Interception is actually going to be a pre-announced Urgent Quest. A set or, um, Dark Falls will invade at set times from the 2nd all the way till the 8th. Raise your battle power and gear up for battle. So that's super cool. Looks like it's not going to be the only way that they do it. It's just going to be during this time frame. So we take those. Um, there's going to be also a premium purchase set campaign. Looks like hair ornament, end color change pass, and an augmentation success rate plus 15%. That's actually pretty nice. Um, players who purchase a premium set 30 days will also will get an end augmentation rate plus 15%. Okay, actually, that's that's not bad, because that's all I really care about of this set. So the fact that it's the cheapest one, they could have made it the accessory, but they didn't. They made it the cheapest one, so cool, cool stuff there. Um, World Trial Stellar Grace, you guys know about these, but they're going to basically be doing another one. It's going to be even stronger than beforehand. So more SG, more special scratches, so super cool there. And then another campaign for the Mag Jukebox. Dive into the world, which you can get just by logging in. Okay, so they're going to be handing out a uh, the intro cinematic music, I think is what it is. Yeah, intro cinematic music for a login bonus. So that's pretty cool. 
And that's about it. That's all we've got. Our next headline is going to be in March. It looks like they're going to be doing these on the first of every month, I believe. So that's super dope. And uh, that's really about all we've got. So I think I'm going to make this video not too crazy long over for YouTube. And I know it's probably already longer than I want it to be. But if you guys are watching over on YouTube, I appreciate all of you. Thanks for hanging out. You guys are wonderful individuals. Um, let me know what you guys are excited for. I'd love to hear about it. If I miss anything, feel free to let me know in the comments. Um, if I misquoted, I apologize. I'm pretty sure I got everything that was like important. So we'll have to see. Anyway, guys, like and enjoy the video. Subscribe if you want to keep up with more. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Peace out.